Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Blue Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Look who it is. Look who I found. It's a Pikachu. Metapod got up to level 9. Charmander hit level 12. So it hasn't actually been too long. And I'm glad that Pikachu showed up now, because Metapod is still in a range where it won't murder Pikachu, and we can just, you know, lower its health, and we'll be good to go. Don't you dare crit him. I'm honestly nervous to attack a second time. Let's just start throwing Pokeballs. We have ten. We have ten. Pikachu's at a little bit more than half health. Um... Hello... No, no, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Don't, don't crit. Okay. All right. All right. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yes. Be up, start. Yay, we caught Pikachu. Fantastic. Now oh, I'm good on naming. That's good. No, darn it! I was going to name him too! Fudge! Sigh! Sigh! What is wrong with you? Stop making fun of me, Reggie. Alright, heal up. Worst case scenario is we can name them once we get to, um... Oh, what's that place? The town with the Pokemon Tower. I can't remember its name right now. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna head back through Viridian Forest. Our Metapod is really close to turning into a Butterfree. Super, super close. Let's check how much... He actually needs. Oh god, 191. All right. Hmm. Well, we're still gonna work on it. And Pikachu will gain plenty of levels in Mount Moon, zapping Zubats. Although I actually prefer Butterfree in Mount Moon because confusion will just destroy everything in there. Zubats are weak to it. Yeah, you can win this fight. Zubats are weak to it. Um, and Geodude just has, you know, no special. We're probably going to capture a Geodude as well. Alright. Right now, we are heading south to do battle with our rival. Uh, even though, I don't know if his Squirtle is gonna... Well, he's pretty low level. We should be able to take him even without Butterfree. So we're just, we're gonna go do that now. Oh gosh, no. No, Saigon, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. And hopefully Metapod will be a Butterfree by the time we get down there. And that'll really help out his attack power. Even without confusion. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna go nice and quick. I hope everybody else has been enjoying the re-releases. What kinds of teams are you running? Comment below. My end game plan is to have a uh, Dragonite on the team. We'll see how long it takes to catch one of those. I, I'm not a fan of the Safari Zone. Like, the current safari, safari Zone in uh, Alpha and Omega doesn't bother me too much because you can use, you know, proper Pokeballs, but ugh, this, this Safari Zone bothered me to no end. We don't even need to heal. Let's just go. Zenpai, we're coming for you. You're in so much trouble, man. Potions too. We're totally fine. I 
check Metapod's XP in a second here and see if we want to finish leveling to Butterfree. Uh, still 99 points. He'll get it during the fight. That's cool. Hey, Saigon! You're going to Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't even have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? You don't even know, man. You don't even know. Zen, you don't even Pokemon. The level 9 Pidgey's a little concerning, but not actually that much. Diablo will still defeat him. Oh no, not Gust. Get wrecked. Oh, and burned. It's over. You're done. Stay out. You stay out. Yeah, there's bubble. Okay. That's all right. We still got this. Tackle? Really? Switch in Metapod on the next attack, I think. Yeah. I don't know why Squirtle is insisting on using Tackle right now. That's just dumb. That's dumb planning, Zenpai. God, you're so terrible at Pokemon. And we get a Butterfree out of the fight, just as planned. Aw, oh, you just lucked out. Metapod is evolving! A sweet, sweet Butterfree on our team now. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Get out of here, Zenpai. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody. Oh wait, no, there's an item up here, isn't there? In here? No? 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 I am wrong. I could have sworn there was one up there. What about here? Nope. <laughs> Alright, we will Pokemon Center this time, and then we'll head back up towards Pewter City. That is the Pokemon Mart. The Pokemon Center is over here. You'd think I would know where this thing is after 20 years of this. Do not, though. <laughs> Butterfree is now in a pretty decent state to wreck shop, just for comparison of stats. Uh, Diablo's got a 21 attack stat, and Butterfree is at 17 and two levels behind, so not too bad at all. Special, of course, is where she is going to be standing out, but still, not too bad at all. Can actually do some proper damage. Mm -hmm. 
Should be able to one-shot any of the unevolved bugs in the forest. No? Wow. Okay, I, I misspoke. I was expecting Butterfree to be a little bit better. It's fine. It's fine. She'll grow up pretty fast in level now. And then, following Brock's defeat in Pewter City, I will start leveling up that Pikachu. Or I may do it following this episode. I don't- I still don't think we're gonna get to Brock today, but I did want to, you know, showcase Pikachu, go to the, uh, second boss battle with Zenpai. We will walk in the grass to get as much XP as we can. And maybe Butterfree will be level 11 by the time we reach the other side. You know what we could do, is we could go fight that, uh, the junior trainer in Brock's gym, the one that's got a diglet. Butterfree can probably take that thing out fairly easily. Probably take three or four turns for Butterfree to take out the Metapod, and Diablo can just do it in one. Aiming for efficiency. Let's keep rushing our way up to Pewter City Gym, take out that junior trainer. in this game. Oh, come on, Butterfree, really? Butterfree! Butterfree! Alright, this is your last chance, man. Nope, I'm pulling you off the front line. You've you've disappointed me. Stupid sand attack. In fairness, sand attack is OP. Flash is OP. Gosh, darn it. There we go. Man. I used to have a um I used uh, Zapdos on my team back in the day, and I had Flash on him, and he would just agitate the heck out of my sister, because it didn't matter what she would send out, I would just, like, Flash three or four times in a row. If I was worried about getting hit, I would use Fly. <laughs> there was a lot of hijinks with Fly and Dig, and uh, I think they were better then than they are now. Like, you don't really see Fly and Dig used that often, just because there's much, much better things. Alright, okay, we're going to the, tr the gym to battle the junior trainer. What's up, guy? Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. I'm really not. He's right there. He's right there. I can see him. <laughs> I can see him right now. Oh my gosh, you're level 11. Um, Butterfree soloing this might have been a pipe dream. Actually, no, I think we're good. Or we can... Mi Butterfree, you are disappointing me a lot today. Alright, we'll bring in Diablo. Diablo will solve this problem. I'm just trying to get you some XP, but no, I'm, I'm gonna miss. 
I'm gonna miss all my attacks. That's what Butterfree sounds like. Man, Diglett is fast. Can he learn Slash? Dark Trio with Slash might be kind of nasty, actually. <laughs> oh god, there's also a Sand Shrew. Uh... Still have a potion. Oh no. M might have a small problem. Might have a small problem. Pikachu, get out there. I need you to eat an attack. I'm so sorry, Pikachu. Wrecked. Damn. Okay. Did not handle that very well. Are we gonna lose this fight? I'm gonna be so mad. So mad. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Diablo? I'm counting on you. We'll check scratch damage. Ember is not gonna be very effective, but it still might be better than that. And we have a chance of burning. Oh! Oh god! Okay, Ember works just fine. What have I been doing? It's rock type that is effective against. Ground is super effective against fire, but fire still does regular damage to ground. Saigon! You know this! I need to go back to, like, Pokemon Stadium 2 and go back to trainer school or something. Oh, look at all that XP that I wanted to be on. Butterfree. Whatever. Blast you, junior trainer! Yes, light years measure distance, you, you little punk. <sighs> go lick my wounds. <laughs> and we're gonna go get a couple more levels on Butterfree before we come back for Brock, because confusion is just that good. Might even put some levels on Pikachu. We'll see. We'll see. my third episode I've been recording today, so. And I expect to record some more tomorrow. Been taking a break from Dragon Quest Builders. I miss it, but this is important. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Stupid Pikachu, I looked for you forever. So annoying. Like, I want to knock it out, but at the same time, I feel I should capture it just in case. But I don't know anybody who actually needs it. Garen's got yellow, so it doesn't matter. His mom's got yellow. Perry's not interested in this one. Although she, she did say she'll play Go with me. Man! <sighs> ah! Ah! Get just gonna... Yeah, take up... Take up that, uh, that... PC space. I suddenly have my son's luck. Which I guess is good. I shouldn't complain about that. But, unlike him, I don't want a team of Pikachus. That was my opportunity to name one, though. I... I... Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. When we come back next time, I will have a much stronger Butterfree, and we will go take on Brock, and we will earn the Boulder Badge from the Pewter City Gym. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This is the Pokemon Let's Play. If you would like to have one of your... Blah, blah, blah. If you would like to name one of the Pokemon, um, please check out my Patreon page below in the description. Um, if you can't... Guys, just thank you for watching. I appreciate the support in any form it comes in. Alright, peace out everybody, and I'll see you all next time.